In previous lecture, we were talking about Maven, how it will be useful at the developer level. It helps him that compile the code, downloading all the dependencies and building the code and even packaging the code. But how does it work at the DevOps engineer level? Now let's see that. Once developer is tested his code and if it is working fine, obviously he need to check in his code into the source code management. In this example, just consider that Git as a source code management. Once it is pushed, as a DevOps engineer, again you need to take that code and we need to build the artifacts out of it, right? Artifacts nothing but the outcome of the source code. So whenever you are doing that, even you need to know that what and all dependencies does it require. Once you have taken those dependencies, you need to build it. Once you build it, you need to run unit test cases. Once that is done, you may use it as a deployment as well. Then who will do all this stuff? That is where Maven comes into the picture. So Maven helps even at DevOps environment level to download the dependencies, build unit test and deploy the applications. So anyway, we are going to see how we are going to use Maven at the developer level and also DevOps engineer level. Whenever we are working at developer level, I am going to use Maven with the Eclipse. So we will be installing Eclipse in our local system in the sense I am going to install on my laptop and we'll start writing some Java applications. Don't worry, I'm not going to write any complicated code. We can get the some templates. I'm using those templates and we'll see how a developer is going to use the Maven. Then with help of that one as a DevOps engineer, what we can do at the DevOps environment level. All right, that's all for this lecture. In next lecture, I'm going to talk about what and all resources do you need and where do you get help if you struck up somewhere. Thanks for watching and see you there.